You wouldn't happen to have some time on your hands, would you, Clive? Only I was wondering if you might help me with something else. Don't tell me. Another unruly dominant. Not quite, but a dangerous foe nonetheless. It promises to be quite a hunt. Care to join me? All right. Tell me about our quarry. A fiendish, cold-blooded beast known as a Givra. Normally, we leave such animals well alone, and for good reason. But I have an even better reason to want its tongue. It, its tongue? If you'll permit me, Tributary, I can explain. Certainly, Yamila. It's been over a week since my sister gave birth to her first child, yet she still isn't back on her feet. We've tried everything to restore her spirits, physics and nostrums, the laying on of hands and of leeches, but all to no avail. The healers tell me there's only one hope left. A broth as potent as its ingredients are perilous to procure. It isn't only Yamila's sister who stands to benefit from this, by the way. There's her baby to think of, and Walius, too. She'd agreed to be his wet nurse, you see. I'd be glad to help. Thank you. Our hunters have no shortage of skill. But this task calls for more than that. And it won't be achieved through weight of numbers either. The Giver is as wary a foe as it is a deadly one. Two hunters might catch it unawares, but any more than that, and it would pick up our scent a league away. Then it is decided. The two of you will go, while Jill and I occupy ourselves here. Perhaps we might help prepare the broth. That would be most kind of you. Come then, Clive. The river of time flows fast, and so must we. There's a Givra that has claimed the ruins at the foot of the mountain as its hunting ground. But as I say, they are wary creatures. We'll need suitable bait to draw it out. The flesh of a forest ibex should suffice. To the forest, then. Return to the sea, and to the clouds rise again. We have our bait then. What next? Next we pay a visit to the dark gate to pick some local weed. It'll help disguise our scent. Is this it? Aye, that's the stuff. Crush the leaves between your fingertips and rub them on your clothes. Uh, if you insist. Oh, you could have warned me about the smell. Like corruption, isn't it? We'll have an honor guard of flies before long. But it'll stop the Giver from noticing us. Its nose will tell it we're nothing but a feast for worms. Oh, I feel so much better. We can wash it off afterwards. If there's one good thing about the Giver choosing the ruins for its hunting ground, it's that there's plenty of fresh water nearby. His territory. Something was. A curl, maybe. A fresh kill. But not a Givras. The wounds are too clean, too small.
contract. But I assume they're too small to belong to a Givra. You're right. They're barely big enough to belong to a Givra's breakfast. These look like a predator's tracks. You can clearly make out the claws. But not just any claws. These belong to a Givra. There's no mistaking them. We'll lay the bait here. Let's hope our friend is hungry. Still no sign. Patience, Clive. Hunting's not something you can rush. Have you stalked these beasts before? Once. Givers are fast, so the job called for a bearer. But even with my knack, it was a close-run thing. Not many leaders would take such risks for their people. Says the man who battled an icon to save a boy he barely knew. It is the way of the Mots of Water to use what gifts we've been given for the good of all. And I gather it's your way, too. It was Sit, the man whose name I bear. He fought for his people and their future with every fibre of his being. And I'm just following in his footsteps. In many ways, you remind me of him. Me? You're confusing Darren with desperation. Quiet. Something's coming. Our guest has finally arrived. Shall we greet him? It'd be rude not to. You weren't exaggerating when you said they were dangerous. They're forces of nature, all right. And with this one's passing, the river of life has calmed. O roaring torrent, son of storms, may your spirit run free in the open ocean. This flesh, I claim, that your gifts might rain down upon us this day, and our river flow in spate once more. Well then, let's return to the village. We must get this tongue to your miller before it spoils. Tributary, my lord, did all proceed as planned? It did. Here. One gave her tongue, as promised. Oh, thank you. I shall add it to the broth at once. By your leave, tributary. If there is anything else that we can do to help, you need only ask. Oh, no, no. You've already done more for my family than I can ever repay. Just as you have, Clive, for my family. I only regret that I have nothing to offer you in return but my gratitude. It's more than enough. Besides, I'm no less grateful to you. For what? 
for welcoming my friends and I into your midst, for showing us how your people live, for reminding me that the world we strive to create, where bearers can live alongside their fellow men in peace and comfort, is no mere fantasy. I'd hardly call it comfort. Every day is a struggle. Though we do at least struggle together, it's true. As must we all. I only ask that you remember the cost of using your gifts as a bearer. I know that you feel it's your duty to do whatever you can to help your people. But do you have a child to think about now? And Wallace has lost enough. I shall bear that in mind. That's all I ask. Oh, and if there is anything else that we can do to help, well, you know. Thank you. Truly. <laughs>